soundtrack, Moldy Peaches, Anyone But You. These songs are so cute. And this one's really easy to play. In fact, it's one of those two chord songs that I like to teach so much. And it's great for everyone out there struggling with the G. You'll see why in the lesson, but this is a great lesson for you to master your G chord, all right? 10thumbspro.com. Become a Patreon, support our growth, help us. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Get more involved, make the music that you want to make. But if you came just because you love this song and you want to rock it out, that's cool, I dig it and I respect it. I want you to grab your ukulele brain attention span, follow me on in. If you want some extra help Skype lessons, call me, call me. And let's break down this lesson right now. Okay, let's do it. All right, so I recently heard this song, and first off, the Juno soundtrack is maybe the cutest soundtrack ever. When I hear it, I feel like holding someone's hand. We need a G major. Because the G chord can be a finicky monster when you're just learning the ukulele. It's usually the first difficult moment people have, and a lot of times people hang it up right then. You're gonna need this chord. And if you're a total beginner, this is a great song to learn it because the only other chord is a C major seven, which is just your middle finger on the second fret of the A string. Now, why is that cool? Because if we look at the G chord and the C major seven, this middle finger doesn't move. So this is a great way for you to just get to know these, this chord change and how to change the chords. So we're gonna start with the G and we're gonna go like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We're not going to do anything but play it with our thumb and count to four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Changing the chords on the one, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And actually with this, if you didn't want any strum pattern, you could sing the song with just these lyrics, you know, like anyone else but you. Alright, so you could sing it like that. But let's look at the strum pattern and apply to it because it's only two chords. After the strum pattern, we got the whole song, bada boom, bada bing. And the strum pattern is gonna be like just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. But we want to have more groove than that. So the first down, up is going to be softer. Down, up, 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 down, up. Okay, we're going to do that three times. And then we're going to add two down, up, down, ups that are soft at the end. That's actually the entire song, okay? The only, only, only exception is in the intro when it goes G, C, G, C, and the second time you play the C major 7, you're going to pause. So that'll look like this in the intro. solo in this one and I encourage everyone to take as many fat nasty solos as possible whenever they can. C 
C major 7 would be your pentatonic. But don't be scared of that B note on your C major 7 or on your G chord, alright? Because it's in both of them. So if you're taking that fat, nasty solo, get a little jazzy! Again, that's a big leap from our beginner strum pattern. But my beginners out there, you know you got something to work towards. Fat, nasty solos. Alright, anyone else? Pro.com. Moldy Peaches, anyone but you. You hear that sound? That's a home run. You made it this far. It's because you got the song and you dominated it. Really happy to bring it to you, okay? 10thumbspro.com. New songs every Wednesday, new songs every Saturday. Ukulele, improvisation, Skype, technique, all, everything you need to be a better musician, all right? All you have to do is holler at me and say, Tyler, I want to be a better musician. And I'll teach you how to do it, all right? Also, bad news today. Rest in peace, Five Dog. Um, we got some Tribe Call Quests coming one of these days too, okay? 10thumbspro.com. Until next time, keep on doing you, we'll keep on doing us. Life is good.